Sometimes I get really mad at my boyfriend. Like we've been together for a long time, like a lot of years. Like I'm pretty sure he keeps track of it like a prisoner does in jail, like marking little things. <laughs> I've realized that a lot of the time that I'm angry with him is when I'm getting a bikini wax. I mean, I get it. It's like, I wanna be sexy, whatever. I figure it's his dining experience. No one likes to floss before they're finished eating. I'm wondering who the first like porn star director was that was like, you know what would be a really good idea? Let's remove all the hair from her vagina. Because of him, that I go to the salon every three weeks to get my hair ripped out by the root by some Eastern European lady named Magda. I always try to figure out some excuse to get out of going, like my, my cat is dying and I can only handle one screaming pussy at a time. But there I find myself in the waiting room, reading this pamphlet, trying to figure out whether or not I need my asshole waxed. This pamphlet says, some discomfort may be associated with this procedure. Um, I experience some discomfort when I'm watching the WB. This is a whole different thing. First, Magda spreads hot wax all over my lady bits, which I have to admit feels really good. But then, this is the moment that I realize there's no going back. Once she spreads hot wax on my lady bits, I have to let her rip it off. When she does this, my first instinct is to punch her in the face. The second thing I think is, is, it, is my couture is still there? The third thing I wonder is, is it too late to go for a more conservative look? Like not removing the whole carpet, maybe leaving like an area rug or, or welcome mats. The problem with hardwood flooring is that hair is helpful for three reasons. Number one, to remember your natural hair color. Two, uh, to keep debris away from your holiest of holies. And three, to direct your pee downward. Without hair, urine has ADD. It just goes everywhere. Hair is like Ritalin for your pee. You have to learn this whole new technique when you get your hair removed. It's like, there's like a tilt to it. After she finishes with the waxing, Magda grabs the tweezer. This is a whole new sick twisted experience. Now Magda cleans up all the stray hairs that she missed with the waxing with the tweezer. And she's doing this very quickly and Magda's eyesight isn't what it used to be so every now and then she just pinches a little bit of skin. Fucking Magda. And all the while I'm laying there and this atrocity is happening to me and all I can think about is the night before when I saw three stray hairs in between my boyfriend's eyebrows and as a woman this excited me more than I can explain so I grabbed my tweezer and I'm like ah, please let me just pluck those three little hairs oh god oh god oh god oh god and he was like no it's gonna hurt finally he lets me tweeze the three stray hairs every time I do he screeches out in excruciating pain like I have just like beat the shit out of him and then I proceed to remove 49 hairs from my own massive unibrow without even batting an eyelash thinking you know what what are they gonna think of next at least the style isn't to have straight hair down there we'd all be using these like little mini irons to straighten it think of the burns <sighs> I don't like it don't like it at all how's that for hot sex are we done yay <laughs> just let me pluck the little hairs